cottage. Um, my brother and my sister and their partners came over for a night or two. It was lovely. Little family get together, wasn't yes, it? Not much to talk about narrowboating. No. Well, after a couple of days, we love going back to the cottage. It's a beautiful place, as you know. But after mm. a couple of days, we're fed up. We just want to come back to the boat, don't we? We treat it like a weekend break. But after a two nights with I'm getting itchy feet. Yeah, get bored, get don't bored. we? Bored, and I ended up, I end up flicking the TV on because it only takes one button to turn it on, and then you sit down, and you end up watching drivel. What do we think of the Ashby Canal? Love it, absolutely love the Ashby Canal. It's, um, it's not going to take us long to get to the end and back. I think we're working on about a month, which is really stretching, even hands. for us, pootily. <laughs> but there are so many places to see so much to do it's really peaceful and, and I think it's the perfect place if anybody's going to have a boat a hire boat for a week and you don't feel like you want to be rushing everywhere it's so interesting along here it is and there's no locks to negotiate uh, plenty to see as Fran said there's the battlefield railway line which is a restored line that they run steam trains up and down so we're going to go and have a day out on that aren't we yes so we'll do a future vlog on that. You know what I'm like with the steam train. Yeah, <laughs> steam train. Um, it's the, the historical battlefields yeah, the and stuff, isn't there? Bosworth Battlefield Centre, Heritage Centre that we haven't been to. We're going to go back on the way down. Um, but yeah, it's just so quiet and rural um, and beautiful. You can see woodland area behind us. So the plan, we promised ourselves that we're going to complete the galley and the... Uh, What's the nautical word for lounge? Saloon. Saloon, that's it. We're going to complete the galley and the saloon before we get off the Ashby Canal. You heard it here, we're not leaving the Ashby Canal until that is done. Set ourselves so a target. I think we'll have to just moor up for a couple of days in order to finish that. I think it's just going to be about three days work, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. It's just so boring, isn't it? We are um, into our last bag of coal now, just broken into it, haven't we? Yeah. Um, and spring is well on its way, but there are still some cold nights. But we're going to try really hard just to manage with foraged wood from now on. It seems that we light the fire sometimes in the morning, and literally by the time it's hot, we're letting it go out again because I it's don't just think taking the we chill should, off. Sorry, I don't think we should be lighting the fire anymore in the mornings. Just stick an extra woolly pulley on and uh, get, Hang on a minute. get going. Who was it that laid in bed this morning saying? Is the fire lit yet? <laughs> Add me coffee done. I think that's once in the last 10 mornings you've got up and lit the fire and made the coffee. Well, anyway, let's not have a dis dispute. <laughs> but yeah, no more coal. We'll manage, won't we now? No more coal because yep. we've got to be storing that over the summer. No. You um, see we've been foraging wood again. It's on the roof of the boat. And there's plenty around here by the look of it. Yeah. And uh, Fran's, oh, here we go. I've got to move out the way so she can move the tiller. <laughs> and Fran's rosemary bush is in full flower at the front there. And your broad beans are coming up nicely, aren't they, Fran? We've got salad seeds have been sown now. Yeah, and they've popped up. Um, and we actually saw some really good value little chilli plants the other day, so we bought some of those to get going. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's all happening. It's all good. So that's about it. That's all we've been up to, all we're doing. So uh, let's pootle. Pootling along. <laughs> Bye. See you later. Well, here we are, moving along the ash beat. And who's this? This is uh, my position on the back of the boat. It's Jeff, my twin brother. Coming to spend the day and night with us. So we've come to Bridge 53 with a winding hole. I'm going to turn around so Brother Jeff can get back to his car. And this is his first attempt turning a boat in 45 years. <laughs> Making a good job of it so far.
He's only gone and done it. How was that, Jeff? Never lose the torch, dear. <laughs> Come up the front of the boat to do a bit of filming from a different angle. We never take film from right at the front of the boat. Uh, it's so quiet and gorgeous. Today is such a beautiful day. We're heading now towards uh, Snareston and the tunnel, which is only about 600, 250 yards rather. An old disused railway bridge. And this last uh, five or six miles, seven miles of this canal is just stunning. It's just so rural, so remote. Such a complete contrast to uh, some of the towns and cities we've been visiting lately. So uh, yeah, loving it and uh, in no rush to return back down there either. What a gorgeous setting. I can imagine this is what it's going to be like when we get further up north with bigger hills, which I'm really looking forward to, as I keep saying. But this is stunning. This is absolutely lovely. first tunnel that she's <laughs> driven the boat through and I think she's glad it's only 260 odd meters it's a so how was your first tunnel Fran? I think I've done bits of tunnels before just not a whole one it was fine but I don't like it my vision goes funny I don't know what they mean by I don't really know what they mean by tunnel vision now. <laughs> but that one, I don't know who built that. 
but they couldn't see in a straight line, I know that. The roof was up and down. <laughs> kinky, wasn't it? It was kinky. So and we've got uh, less than a mile now to do before the end of the Ashby Canal. Yeah, and we've got a 52 foot winding hole, isn't it? And we're 50 foot. Yeah. So that will be type one. There is a 70 foot winding hole before, but we're going to go to the bitter end, aren't we? We want the challenge of the 52, don't yeah, we? Yeah, you do. Just to see. You're behind the tiller. I haven't done it winding for a little while actually, so it's about my about time. Look at that. Somebody's private moorings, I guess. Days gone by, but there's yeah, a big house up there, look. Looks like they've had a Venetian gondola there or something. The willow trees are beginning to uh, make their place known on the canals all of a sudden, aren't they? <laughs> This is the last bridge on the Ashby Canal, bridge number 62. And uh, that's the winding hole, which is sufficient for a 52 foot boat. And we're 50. It's a tight squeeze, so let's go and have a look how Fran does. I just heard Fran say, oh my God, that is a tight circle. Ha, 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 ha.